Yeah, so we're using a new camera today. Yep. Um, and we don't have our microphones nope. because I left my recording device at home. So I hope you can hear us. Just gonna have to shout. We're gonna shout the whole time. Yeah, the whole time we're gonna have to shout. Because Shen dropped the ball. Dropped the ball. I dropped the ball on that one. Drop the ball means to make a mistake. Yeah, I think it means to like kind of make a mistake when you're in some position of responsibility though, right? It's like something is expected of you. And, hey. you, and you fail to do... It's like the opposite of like Sasuga if you drop the ball, right? Sasuga is like as expected. You did... You performed as expected. I wonder if there's one like for people who are constant screw-ups. Like, oh yeah, Sasuga. This is what I expected of you. Yeah. It's a negative Sasuga. A negative Sasuga. Yeah, I need to learn that one. Surely it applies to me. Surely it applies to me too. Yeah. We're both a couple of screw ups. Yep. So look, um, my name is Sham. You can also call me a screw up. Um, Sham, like Shaman Eko no Shamu, Oyo Savloi, and this is. Uh, Natsuo, like Natsuo the Gecko. Do you want to give a special hello? Uh, I did Oyo Savloi. What's Oyo Savloi? It's like what? North Londoners say, okay? Oi, oi, Savaloi. Like, as if you're surprised. Oi, 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 oi. And, uh, hola to all our Spanish speaking listeners. <laughs> so, we're here in Green Square. Green Square is an ACAR cafe, an English language cafe, where you can come and talk about things your problems, my problems, his problems, problems. Or you can talk about happy things. So many problems that my problems have problems. I've got 99 problems. One of them... Yes. ...happens to be about plumbing. Plumbing, yeah. Plumbing is one. Plumbing is... It's a big, it's a big problem sometimes. It is. Another problem is that you're not coming to my house today, are you? Yeah, but it wasn't even possible anyways. I mean, you were supposed to come to my house today. I didn't realize it was today. I thought it was. I thought we didn't iron like nail down a specific date. But I mean, you did message me saying we're gonna watch the fight on Tuesday. Yeah. No, I was like, do you want to? Yeah, because you were coming to the house. Yeah, but was it that had already been arranged? I'm, Are you sure? Are you sure about that? I'm not sure because I think I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to schedule to work until seven. So I was going to say, all right, that's where you go home you see, to that's... my house yeah. and start cooking. Yeah. And then when I get home, I expect dinner to be on the table. Okay. Yeah. You and my wife cook me dinner, please. Sure. Yeah. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no. So, I mean, you were going to come over and maybe or maybe not we were going to watch uh, sport of some kind. So yeah. today's topic is sport. Or sports. As we say in America. That's what I was going to say. I was yeah. going to say that in the last take that we took. Like, sport, sport. Yeah. So, in England, we, can, we say sport. Yeah. And in America, they say it wrong. We say sports. It's kind of the opposite of how you guys say math. Like, you guys say maths. Yeah, we say maths. In America, we say math. Yeah. We just, we just... We should get on the same page about both of those, you know? No, I mean, America changed a lot of the language to distance themselves from the colonial British, didn't they? Uh, I don't know, yeah. That's Apparently, how... it was like a way of, like... Basically, the way we spell things are a little bit different. So, we spell colour. C-O-L-O-U-R. Spell a lot of things differently. Yeah, in American... Practice. English, they spell... Well, it depends. If it's as a noun, we use C-E. Okay. If it's as a verb. This can be somewhat of an issue during lessons. It can, actually. Because we, I alternate, well, we alternate between spelling things in American and British English. That's fine. No, it's fine. I, I, don't, I, I just think it's, you know, it'll... Sometimes I'll be a bit confused because it'll autocorrect because we're using the same Google account and it'll autocorrect to the British English and I start doubting my ability to spell really basic English words. And then I realize, oh, it's because it's... Like organize is spelled with a Z. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. And in, in, English, in, in American English. In American English, yeah. it's spelled with a Z, and in British English, it's spelled with an S. Yeah, we also don't say Z; we just say Z. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of interesting because I'm, I guess this is kind of about yeah, language. Yeah, this is just not. This about, always happens. Yeah. Not about sport. So. Nah, never on topic. 
Never. We should call this Off Topic. Off Topic would be a good name. Yeah, that would pretty be. much. Just in, in parentheses. So just, you're in the, just leap, get, get out of the <laughs> shot. You're in the shot. You're just, you, you were. You, you, were just, you were just standing there like this. <laughs> it's just like, what is she doing? She's so, 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 we could call this Off Topic. We thought it weren't though. Shooting yeah. the Breeze. Shooting the Breeze in parentheses Off Topic. Yeah. So, we Sports. are apparently talking about the language now, language differences. So we organize, we also say Z, you say Z. Z. So Dragon Ball Z in Japanese. In Japanese it's called Dragon Ball Z, which is British English. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. But Japan has this massive influence from America, so yeah. I don't know why it's called Dragon Ball Z. At the same time, Japanese people call the seat in the corner here, ah, uh, so far. Oh, do they? Yeah. That's... And in America, they call it a... I, I guess, I don't know that I would call that a sofa, but yeah. What do you call it? Couch. Um... I mean, you'd say couch, you would say sofa. That's what I understood. Maybe that's a, like a, maybe that's a love seat, you know? Perhaps. I don't know what a love seat is. It's just a small couch. And it's called a love seat, I think, because it's so small that it forces the two people to sit very close to each other, thus creating a very intimate sort of experience. That's why uh, Natsuo and I spend one hour before Green Square opens, we sit on the love seat in together. In absolute silence. In 100% silence. Yeah. Yeah. Just absorbing each other's energy or. No. Exactly. So yeah, that's some differences. Z and S and our spelling. And apparently the reason behind it is as a kind of like they didn't want to continue with the colonial British spelling. I'm sure just a lot of it happened naturally too. No, it's it's like, actually, yeah. really? Yeah. It wasn't just like people not knowing how to spell and stuff and just winging it, you know? There wasn't like autocorrect or anything like that. No, because everyone's not knowing how to spell. No one knowing how to spell and making the same spelling mistake. That's true. That's a good point. Well, they could have all been making different spelling mistakes, and then at some point, they were like, alright, we just gotta get this together. Let's just decide which one is yeah. it. Are we gonna use S E, Z E, or C E? Yeah. Are we gonna keep calling it Z, or are we gonna change it to Z? That's what all Americans sounded like. Yeah, that's what all Americans say. That's what all Americans sound like. Still, to this day. To this very day, you to go. This day. If you travel down to uh, Missouri mm -hmm. and to uh, Delaware. Delaware, all the way down. All the way down all the south. Way down south to Delaware. Delaware, yeah. that's how they all talk. Philadelphia too, that's how we talk. In Philadelphia, you go to Philadelphia, hey yeah, excuse me sir, my, I trouble you for a Philly steak sandwich. Philly, we all, yeah, that's, we call them Philly steak sandwiches too. I'd like a Philly steak sandwich in my mouth. That's how you order one, classically. Classically, that's how you order it. You don't say mouth, you say mouth. Yeah, it creates a bit of confusion when you just say, can I have a Philly cheesesteak? Because people are like, what's he going to do with it? Is he going to eat it? Yeah, what are you going to do it with just, that full of cheese thing? Yeah. But when you tell them specifically, for your mouth. For my mouth. mouth. Oh, okay. Put it in my mouth yeah. hole. Yeah. Um, and a beverage for drinking. <laughs> and I'll take a water for bathing my mouth. Bye. Bye. I'll, Bye. Some Bye. I'll, have, I'll have a water to rinse out my mouth. Um, yeah, so look, that's the difference between American and British. We yeah. do call things differently as well. We do say, I, I would say the underground, you would say the subway, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. we'd say the tube as well. Or you um, would say the sub. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's the difference between British English and American English, which is not what we were going to talk about. Talk um, about sports. Yeah, so the, the like, yeah. Or sport. <laughs> or sport. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> just can't get anywhere. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one where we'll probably we'll try to stay on topic. We will try to stay on topic.